What about people who've never heard of Christianity? They, insofar as they can, they follow their conscience, then they are pleasing to God and may be saved. I say maybe because we, we only can say for sure that those who die Catholics yeah. can be saved. Yeah. Those who die, those who lead a life as non-Catholics, I personally believe who lead their best life possible yeah. will be touched by God before they die and he will introduce them to the Catholic faith so they can choose. If they're of good will, I've no doubt they will choose it and they will enter the church even at the last moment of life. But if they reject the church, then they're rejecting Christ. But that means the ignorant person isn't something I need to worry about because I trust in the mercy of God. But we don't have to worry about ignorant people. Sure, in the Amazon, yeah, it's a worry. But in practical terms, this is England. And so we need to know what the truth is. This is a... Maybe I'm an ignorant person, even though I've heard the gospel okay. and I reject it. Okay. Maybe I've not had it explained to me properly or, or perhaps you, I'm not mentally capable of understanding. You, you may be. I wouldn't know your mind. That's why I don't say, aha, you've rejected the gospel, you're going to hell. I don't say that. I just say that it is necessary to accept the gospel and anybody of a reasonable intellect can know that it is true or, to put it at the minimum, they can know it's the truest of all the religions, if they're Westerners, because Catholicism is the only historically valid religion of all the religions. What about paganism? Well, the pagans never claimed that their gods existed in real historical time. Um, what do you mean? Well, no pagan them. says their god lived in the reign of the Emperor Julian or right, well, this in is the reign of Sennacherib. Only, only Christians, what, what, about, what, about, what about the followers of Pharaoh? Didn't they, did Pharaoh say he was a god and the Egyptians were following him? Well, that's all right. If somebody followed a god, say they said that Osiris lived in the reign of Pharaoh Akhenaten or no, Ramesses I'm talking about Pharaoh. Pharaoh. Yeah. God. Yeah. yeah, no, you missed my point. I'm saying that an historically based religion, firstly it says it's, um, it's based upon actual historical events that it claims occurred at particular moments in history. Not in, the, not in a Hindu imaginary time. Well, like Hercules, Zeus. Zeus yeah, that's all stuff. imaginary time. Well, and that's what they was on. Hercules, Zeus, and all that work. Yeah, so that's not an historically based religion. He's not saying that Zeus came to earth um, and no, impregnated a woman. Hercules was the son of Hercules. Yes, but not in his, not at the, not a particular historical moment. Are you sure? Yes, absolutely. Nobody. They say the gods came to earth, but yeah. not at a particular reign of a particular emperor or a particular pharaoh or a particular Persian king. They don't say, oh, in 20 BC, um, Zeus came to earth. So for that reason, that is not a historically based religion. 